Hi, my name is Jennifer Luarca. I'm an academic coach at the Learning Center, and today we're going to walk through um, making time for applied learning, a very short workshop aimed at um, transfers and upper division students who have already set aside their study schedule but now need to expand that to allow for deeper learning of concepts. Um, this is going to be an opportunity to think about uh, engaging with your knowledge at a deeper level. The skill of applied learning is really highly valued in upper division coursework where it's not enough to just know the information. You need to know how to use it and apply it into real world, uh, hence application. So we are going to first walk through what applied learning is, uh, why it's valued, and then talk a little bit about how to fit it into your study schedule. So first, we're going to look at what applied learning is. Now before you, you see the levels of learning based off of Bloom's taxonomy. And what we've done so far, if we're sitting at junior level now, is in freshman and sophomore years, we've practiced remembering and understanding information. That's going to include memorization, reading, defining, a lot of basic study skills that we've honed all the way, you know, K-12, and we've practiced a lot in our lower division coursework. But often students jump into their junior level or their major level courses, and those strategies of reading and looking at your notes and practicing problems really isn't cutting it. Um, and students who feel that they're good students and use a lot of those remembering and understanding strategies are now not getting the grades that they expect. So we may be A and B students and now we're getting C's and D's and we can't really understand why that's happening. Typically it's because we're not thinking about application as we study. So applied learning is really in the middle of this pyramid. You'll see it right here and it's about applying the information, relating the information, thinking about it um, in new ways, and being able to really think about it in a real world context. So we can expect that professors will expect us to think about concepts in that way, uh, both in class, in discussion, in homework, and definitely in uh, the exam. So why do we think about applied learning? It's really an opportunity for us to engage with the concepts on a deeper level. It allows us to think in the context of the real world. So we're not just memorizing a bunch of facts, we're now making them work to either apply them to real world situations or think about how they might apply in the real world or how they might relate to one another. This is really an exciting opportunity to take information and begin to combine and think about how it interacts with other information and other knowledge that you have. Um, it also will allow instructors to assess your learning and see if you're just on that surface level or if you're really understanding things at a deeper level. Again, being able to apply the information and think about how it works and lives in the real world. So how do we exercise our applied learning? Again, this is another illustration of Bloom's taxonomy or the levels of learning. We are thinking through and past the knowledge and comprehension levels, and we're really getting up here towards the application. Our arrow should be down here, actually. Um, but I really, really like this diagram because it very clearly illustrates the levels of learning. Um, and it also allows us to think in terms of action. So in the light bulb, we actually see verbs that apply to that level of learning. For knowledge, we know that as we study for knowledge-based questions, we're really thinking about defining, describing information. For comprehension, we may need to discuss, uh, distinguish or choose between concepts, explain what the concepts are. And then as we get up towards our application, we are now beginning to change the concepts, demonstrate our knowledge using examples, practice, maybe predict how two concepts might interact with one another. So the goal here is that as you begin to study, you are employing these verbs, um, thinking beyond just the 
knowledge and comprehension, but really being able to manipulate the information and think about how it might relate to the real world. So hopefully you're able to take this diagram and these verbs and begin to use them in your study for application. Now, we have to think in terms of how we fit this application portion of study into our schedule. Typically, if you're following a study schedule of any sort, we block times during the day and we study. And again, our traditional study methods are um, looking at our book, looking at our notes, practicing problems, maybe filling out a study guide, but none of that really engages you in the application level of learning. So what we wanna do is build out some extra time each time you study if you know you're required to think about things in terms of application, we wanna build that application time into the end of each study session. So as you see here in our example, we're studying biology. We may study using our traditional methods. Um, for example, here it's gonna be from one to about 140. 40 minutes or so um, reading notes, looking at the book, um, defining things, looking at diagrams, all of that good stuff that we're really good at doing already. But then we wanna shift gears after about 40 minutes. And for example, here we have an hour. So after 40 minutes, we wanna shift gears and really transition into production of information and application of our knowledge. So think of this as a practice, right? So we're going to now engage with the material, perhaps using the verbs from the previous slide, perhaps answering questions, maybe starting to go through the concepts and look for or create examples of those concepts, or maybe even creating a concept map of how these concepts engage with one another, or interact with one another. Um, so the last portion of our study is going to be us practicing information, writing it out, producing information at some level, and really allowing us to engage with the material on a higher level. This is nice because it you know, sets us up for application style exams. But on the flip side, it allows us to test our knowledge. So we may read and feel really confident, but if we don't do anything with that information after we read, we may not retain it all. Or we might not know what we retain from the reading versus what we miss. So application is not only a chance to think deeper, it's a chance to really practice and um, retrieve information from our brain exercising that neural pathway and allowing us to gear up for the exam, which will most likely be application and independent production of a material. So that was a very, very quick rundown of application learning and how to fit that into your schedule. If you'd like more help with this, you can book free individual appointments with an academic coach at the Learning Center. You can do so by calling 562-985-5350 and asking to book an appointment with an academic coach. You can also do so by walking into the Learning Center in the Student Success Center, room number 160, or you can schedule yourself online via single sign-on by signing on and selecting academic coach in the drop-down menu. Um, there's a short guide on this slide to help you if you run into trouble. When you're doing the uh, online scheduling, you can select Academic Coach and there will be Jennifer Luarca or Pat Malivi that you can schedule with. I hope you found this helpful. Um, I do hope that you practice a little and if you would like to follow up, please book an appointment and we can practice application in our sessions, we can build out your schedule a little more concretely, or we can just explore other study techniques for application given the specific course that you're in. Thank you.